Hey, hello, welcome. So in this previous video, we have learned how we can call BI report in our integration and we can send the report data of our email. So now in this time, in this integration, uh, we are going to create here, we will get the data from BI report and we will insert whatever data coming from the BI report into a table. So here let's begin. So here you can see that this is the previous integration we created for sending the report data over email. And now here you can see this is the video. I will provide the link of this video in description. You can follow that one. And now in this integration, what we will do, we will create integration. That integration will get the data from uh, from the BI report and the same data we will insert into table. So I have already created one table. So you can see this is the table XX AP invoice report. In this table, you can see these all are the column coming from the BI report. And this are load sequence. I have added one extra column and the last two columns that creation date and created by these two columns I have added extra so that we can identify that when that record inserted into the table. And the load for the load sequence for each and every time. Suppose we run the integration and we got 200 records. So this load sequence will identify that all 200 records will have the same sequence that will be the load sequence. And we will use instance ID, integration instance ID for the load sequence so that we can easily identify the, the records uh, in the bulk, right? So now let's begin. So here you can, this is a table. So let me create this table. So this table is created now here. And if you will see right now, we don't have any data in this table. So if I will query, select a star from this table. We don't have data, right? And while adding this uh, this uh, table in integration, we require a schema. So if you will check that, and if you want to check the schema of any table, you can just go select a star from all object, all objects. This is a table where we store uh, Oracle store all the tables, trigger, and everything details. So now you can see object name will be object name is equals to our table name so once you will search you can see sorry where where object name is equals to our table so you can see this is our table name and the schema or owner of the table is fox so this will be used in integration so now move to the integration this is the previous integration we created uh, in this integration what we have done is that we have added some default value where we added the details related to the report parameters report output format email address and all, all these things right so now you can see we call the bi report and that bi report will return back the data in base 64 code we converted that base 64 code into file reference with the help of write state now after that we have to add the endpoint to insert the data into the table so before going to insert data we need to read the data from uh, whatever data we have in the file so we will add one and more add point. So let me create another integration that can be the clone of this integration. So here I will make a clone of this integration. So this integration call BI report and insert data into ATP table, right? So just clone here it ATP is a database like uh, Oracle cloud database provided by OCI only. So ATP means autonomous transaction processing. I have created separate playlist for ATP. So here you can see this is the playlist where you can see I have added all these things, all the operations of ATP, what kind of operation we can do, insert, update, calling, package, process, everything I have given in the playlist only. So you can watch for learn. If you want to learn ATP operations, you can watch that playlist also. So move to the integration again. Now here I don't want to send email or uh, to the file so i will just remove the endpoint for the email notification now here you can see in this point right in this point we have the data file right whatever data file coming from the bi report so here but let me check change one thing so report output format i added as pdf right so remember we cannot read pdf file or excel file in oracle integration so we can read only csv or xml file right or json file so here uh, let me make the format as csv so that whenever report will call it will get the CSV data in csv format and the same data we can read so now you can see it send the, uh, this soap endpoint with the help of soap endpoint is called the bi report and it will return back data as a base 64 code we converted this base 64 code with the help of write report where we added the opaque schema so this write report file stage will return back response as a file reference now we have to read the data of that file. For reading the data of the file, we have to add a stage operation where we will select read file. So now as we are going to read the file, so I will use read 
report data underscore stage as this is the activity of the name stage and this is the operation what we are going to perform now here we have read entire file and the read file in segment so right now we know that our data file is less than 10 mb so i will select directly read entire file if you know that your data file can be more than 10 mb you can use read file in segment i will create separate video where i will explain so now here we have to uh, provide the file re references or file details so here you can see you can directly provide the file name or file directory or else you can provide the file reference so as i know that i have file reference in the right stage right stage response so i will map here only now go to next sorry here we to provide the reference so i will edit here and here you can see we have added the right endpoint right report file in the response of the right we have the file reference so this is the file reference i will map so this with the help of this endpoint we will be able to read the file of the data so here we need to provide the sample as we have csv file so i will select this simple csv only and now we have to provide the csv structure so here you can see this is our report data file in in our report this kind of data we are receiving in csv format that first column is id vendor id name amount invoice date and sources right so here i have already make a copy of that one so i will provide here so this is the invoice report csv simple and here report report set and now you can see here we have all these columns right whatever column we are getting from report so i will make all these as optional and one column as mandatory because uh, it's it's mandatory to make a single max minimum one column as mandatory now go to next and done so here with the help of this endpoint this stage right uh, read endpoint we will be able to read the data of the bi report now it's time to send this data to to atp table so that's why we required atp connection so i have already created one atp connection so i will use this atp here and here in this atp we are going to insert data so i will use insert bi report data and this is atp endpoint so i will use atp here and here we have to select the operation so as we are going to insert data into table so i will select perform an operation and here we are going to insert so i will choose insert now next next here we have to select the schema so as i explained you earlier this fox is our schema for this table so i will select fox here and now in this fox we have table so once you will search this table this is our table right so you will get to know the table here right so now i will move this table to the selected selected side and now click on import so once you will select the tables the table will be imported and the here in the end point it's mandatory to make us in any column as a primary so as you can see in our table we don't have any primary key that's why it's asking here so let me make any like column as a primary okay right and here if you want to add the validation we can add validation from here only but right now i don't want to add any validation so now next and done so here now this endpoint will help us to insert the report data into table so from where we need to pass the data to this endpoint with the help of mapping in this mapping what data we will pass we will pass the data read report data response of this endpoint right so just edit here and we will find read report data stage so here we have read report data stage so i will expand here expand r rs and you can see these all are the column coming from the report as we have provided the file structure now if you will expand here so here you if you you already know that we uh, this insert operation have the facilities to insert data in bulk right as you can see this is the array sample and here also we have array sample so we will map this array with the array so that whatever records we are fetching from the vi report all record will inserted in a single uh, single hit only right so here are the, for the load sequence as i told you for the load sequence i will use integration instance id so whenever integration will be executed it will provide a single instance id or the uh, like in, uh, integration id so i will map here and now invoice id is coming from the vi report only so i will map here vendor id i will map here invoice number i will map here invoice amount and the invoice date and the source now we have two more column left so the creation date will be our sys date so for sys date or current date we have current date time function functions i will use that one so here current date will return only date but current date and time will return back date with the time also right so i require date with time also that's why i added current date time 
so as you can see this current date type column as a table as a date that's why we we will be able to insert that the records now here we have created by and created by will be the one who run the integration the user who run the integration so that details we will find from invoke by that the integration metadata and the runtime details invoke by will be the created by so i mapped here now everything is done validate and close so here you can see in the integration we added logic to read the data from bi report and insert the data into the table so here you can see in this integration we have not done any validation or any exception handling i will create separate videos maybe that will be the next videos where i will use a scope to handle the exception so suppose there can be situation right whenever we are going to call uh, this report that report will get it will return back exception so we have not handled the exception so in the time our integration will be ended so what next time we will add a logic is that whenever we will get any exception i will create another video another table another custom table for the exception details and the table we will insert the exception details right so now go to save and close so let me run this integration so this integration is activated now it's ready to run so i will just click here submit submit so you can see the instance id is that 240013 let me wait to complete this integration when this integration will be completed the data will be inserted into the table so right now in queue status so it's in in progress and here you can see it's in success it means that whatever data we received that data inserted into table if you go to the log messages and if you will check here in log message it's take a little bit of time to show you the log message or the payload so that's why we will uh, refresh again so that we can check so now here you can see what we have done is that here run report we call the vi report we pass the information to calling the report while the format as csv and the report path and when this endpoint will return report back report data in base64 code as a report byte so we pass this data to write report stage here and this write stage here is responsible for converting that base64 code into file reference with the help of opaque schema we provided right here you can see we have file reference so this is the file reference we pass to the write file stage you can see read uh, read report data stage this read report data take file reference as a parameter and take five re file reference as a parameters where we pass in the mapping and it return back the data file data so if you will see the payload received from the read report state this is our file data this is our report data that csv you can see these all are the data invoice id vendor id invoice number amount invoice date and source and now the same data we pass to the atp so here you can see this is the atp endpoint insert by i report data atp here we pass the data so here you can see what kind of data we passed here so here you can see we passed as load sequence as an instance id so you can see this is 424013 2434013 is the load sequence and rest of the data coming from the report and the last data you can see creation date this is a date we passed and the created by this is the user id of integration so the same data will be inserted into table so once move to the table here this is our table right so once i will query this table you can see all the data inserted into the table so here you can see we have load sequence as 240013 this is the same load sequence and these all are the records coming from the vi report you can see we have last two column as a creation date this is the 8 april today is the date of creation date and this is the user by which we inserted data into the table so this is the simple video where here where we have we have learned how to insert report data into table so now in next video i will add logic to handle the exception so that in any case whenever we will get exception that report exception details will be inserted into a table the different error table or log table we will create thank you so much for watching we'll meet in next video